Hey everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel and today it's time for another Who Said It video. The person joining me today has been on The Next Step for four seasons, season four, five, six and seven. They've dated three people on age group, Summer, Amy and Jackie. They are an incredible hip hop dancer and they have finally got their true love, Amy. They've also been to regionals twice and they've also been to Dance Mania once. That is right everyone, today Isaiah Peck aka Henry is joining me. Hey, it's Isaiah here, and we're going to be playing Who Said It with Charlie. Thank you so much for coming, Isaiah. So if you're new to Who Said It and you've not visited my YouTube channel before, then there are two rounds in Who Said It. The first round, you get 10 quotes off the next step, and they'll be from scenes, and it will be from the seasons you're in, and you have to guess who said them. In round two, it's finish the line, and you'll get 10 of your lines off the next step, and you have to find the missing word missing off the end. So there's one word missing, and you have to find out what it is. And in, there was not another round, but like there's a quick Q&A at the end, and just to kind of find out a bit more about you and some behind the scenes stories and stuff. So my first quote for you is, Henry is pretty clueless when it comes to dating. Um, I'm gonna say Amy. It's actually Noah. It was in season six when you were like saying that you're making basically excuses to hang out with um, Summer and they were saying, you're dating because if she gets on the dance then you're going to be hanging out and if you get on the dance you're going to be hanging out we're off to a bad start guys <laughs> it's okay you can still redeem yourself so the second quote i've got for you is who can tell me what tutting is uh ditto yes that was ditto that was in season six when she was a guest on the show yeah yeah, I think it's great how they, like, have guests on the show. So they've had, like, Luther Brown, Leon Blackwood, and then Ditto coming in season six. It's really cool to, like, talk about them and their background and what experiences they can bring. It's dope because the show does a really good job at bringing in guests and, and highlighting different hip-hop styles. Like, I actually started with popping and tutting, so I was really happy that that got to be showcased properly. Yeah, I totally agree. I think it's good, like, how they bring in people. Because I think, like, Ditto, when she was teaching stuff, it, you, like, everybody could probably learn something from her as well. So it's, like, really cool. Because, like, at home, I know when we watch it, it's really cool to see different people come in and try it and, like, show what they can do. For sure. So my next quote for you is, so what are we watching? Summer. Driving scene. Yes, that was <laughs> summer. Yeah, you were watching... Oh, what was it? I I just watched this scene. It was like the a uh, spooky horse film or something. Oh, what was it? What was it called? I forget, but it was about a horse. You're right. Yeah, it was some horror horse film. I can't remember what it was called, but I think it was a real film in real life, actually. I actually have no clue. We didn't get to like look into it, but if it was, that's kind of funny. That's really fire. Yeah, I think it was because I've like I've recognized the name of it. I'm sure I've seen it or something. But yeah, that was that one. So your next quote for you is, your prong king this year is... Okay. Uh, it's, it's either Michelle or Emily, and I'm not sure which one said it, but I'm going to, I'm going to go with the crazy guess and say Emily. It was Michelle. Dang it! <laughs> and then Emily interrupted her. Yeah, and then Emily interrupts and says, Henry. That's why it doesn't have your name on the end, because I'd have to say it was both of them, technically. Man! But yeah, you were so close, but... Dang it, it's all good. Um, so my next quote for you is, I feel bad for Ozzy. Nobody deserves to be treated like that. Uh, I feel bad for Ozzy. Nobody deserves to be treated like that. Just because... Just because friendships and how the show works, I'm gonna say Kingston. No, it was Finn. Mm, and I thought about that too. I was like, I don't know if Finn would say that though. Wow. It was, but Kingston wasn't being very nice to him because it's when Sloane came back and then Kingston was paired with Ozzy, like, because they split you into two groups and then you know her and Finn were um, in another group and Kingston was saying, I really don't want to go with Ozzy and I feel like I could be a better dancer if I go with, like, um the other three. So Finn was saying that nobody deserves to kind of be singled out like that. You're right. You're right. Which, um, which makes sense why him and Ozzy are very really good. Sorry, it makes sense why him and Ozzy are very really good friends later in the season. Um, yeah. I need to stop second guessing myself. Yeah, trust trust your instinct. I have the answers in my head and I'm saying like, maybe not. So my next quote for you is, 
Ozzy has absolutely no idea I'm pranking him. Ozzy has no idea I'm absolutely pranking him. Who pranks Ozzy? If, do you want a clue? You're allowed a clue if you want. How many clues am I allowed? Just one? One, a question. Okay, yeah, I'll take a clue. This is in season five. I'm gonna say Kingston. It was Latroy. Dang it! It was to do with when Latroy pranked Ozzy saying that go to um, Emily's desk or something to. I can't. I, and then he said about a competition. I forgot about that scene. Oh my gosh. Yeah, and then that's what led on to Amy's mum coming in and seeing him do some like dance, the European dance chicken thing. I remember. Yeah. Well, I mean, season five was such a long time ago, but... Yeah, hugely, but, you know, it's good, to, it's good yeah. to look back on it. It's nice. Yeah. So, my next quote for you is, I said, don't go through my stuff. I said, don't go through my stuff. And I was in these scenes. That's crazy. You think <laughs> I paid attention? Yeah. No, I'm sorry. Um... I said, don't touch my things. I'm going to say it's Emily. Kingston. It was to do with when Ozzy knew about his grades and then, like, you were on a break and then Kingston, and then Ozzy had, like, seen something and he pulled it out of Kingston's bag and then Kingston said, I said, don't go through my stuff. I genuinely might do horrible compared to a lot of people now that I'm thinking about on this. Well, I mean, you have been in four seasons, so you have longer to remember. That's true. That is very true. I like the way you're thinking. Yeah, that can be. Your, well, you you can technically still like be in the top if you get like all of round two right in the rest of round one. All right, here we go. So your next quote is: "You may have won this one, Lily, but that was just a battle. The war is coming." Mm. Ah, can I get a hint? Yeah, sure. Uh, this was in Studio One, and you were stood behind the person who said this. Summer. It was Rochelle. Dang it! Oh my gosh! Of course. Yeah. Oh, wow. Wow. Yeah, it was when Lily came over and she said, just think, if you hadn't have kicked me and my mum out of the studio, then you would have this trophy. And then Rochelle stood up basically for the team. I'm doing horrible. You see this face? This no, you're not. Well, you have like the two hardest ones are coming up next. So, but oh, usually, yeah. like the pe like the people who don't like get a hundred percent, like at the beginning, tend to get like the hardest ones right. So, we'll see what happens. So, my next quote for you is, "I don't want to hold you back." Uh, I'm going to say, um. Jackie? It was Amy, actually. You were at regionals and you were sat on the bench and then um, you were basically talking about stuff. And then um, you were saying that you need to go to your team. And then she was saying, I just don't want to hold you back. And then she let you go. Hmm. I thought it was like the end of regionals where Jackie was talking to Noah. I was like, maybe I was there for that. I don't know. No, that was just Jackie and Noah. And then they did the dance around the theater. And I was nowhere to be found. I have no clue. Wow. Okay. All right. Maybe you, maybe you were in like the hotel or something. I don't know. I was pro I was probably around on set. That's the thing. Because we're around yeah. for a lot of each other's scenes. Yeah, you're probably watching it or yeah. something. Yeah. So you have one more line in round one. And we'll see how you do. You never know. You might get the hardest one right. So this line is, I can't believe Piper fell out of that aerial. That could be anyone. That yeah. could be anyone. Uh, okay, well, it can't be anyone that was in the dance. Can I get a hint as to what dance it is? Yeah, it's the uh, contemporary dance at regionals. Well, it can't be anyone that was actually in the dance. Got it. 
which means that it can't be Kingston, can't be Piper, of course, it can't be Ozzy, it can't be, it can't be, uh, can't be Summer. Yeah. And it can't be Lily. Lily wasn't in it because she was on the um, other team with Miss Angela. You're really thinking about this one. Is this like some people in your head who you think it might be? Yeah, I'm thinking it might be... Amy, I'm thinking it might be... Um, this is season five content. Season five? Season six. I'm thinking it might be Amy, and I'm thinking it might be... I'm gonna just go with Amy, and I know it's wrong. Yeah, it was Emily. <laughs> Dang it! Oh my gosh! The worst is that not only do we have to choose from dancers but we have to choose from our studio heads and everyone else as well yep yeah lots of people <laughs> lots of people to choose so, from that's the part that makes it difficult so in f the first round you got two out of ten. Two out of so, ten yeah two out of ten i mean it's not it's not that bad <laughs> it's trash but you you still have another 10 points up for grabs which you, so you can still get over half points Okay, all right, all right. Next round is finish the line. So these will be 10 of your lines from the next set. And my first line I've got for you is stop right there. There's nothing that good that can come from. Stop right there. There's nothing that good that can come from. That can come from this. Yep, from this. Yeah, that is correct. So my second line for you is, oh, Noah, you have the cutest nose I've ever... Ugh. Ugh. Barf. No, it was actually stop. Oh, shoot. It was when you were mocking Amanda. But yeah, that was that one. So, my next line for you is... You did not hear... You did not hear... I'm gonna say anything. Yes, it was anything. Yeah, you did not hear anything. This was when you had like the headphone things and um, Amanda had them on and then Alfie came and told you he kissed someone and then Amanda was so shocked. Yep, I remember. So my next line for you is, I hid away and ate a lot of gummy. Uh, gummy bears. Gummy bears, yeah, that is right. That was when you were speaking to Eldon about when Jackie broke up with you and how you coped with it. It's my first episode, I remember that. Yeah, it was one of your first lines, actually. Yeah, that too. Yeah, I thought it w Did they already know, like, they were going to have a Jackie in season five, or was it just a coincidence? No, I don't think they thought that far. I think it was just a part of my storyline, and then eventually they started casting for Jackie. And that's when they came to the realization to like wind it all together okay oh, yeah I, i've always wondered that like i've always wondered did they like always have like a jackie in mind eventually um maybe they did but i don't think they did but yeah my next line for you is you bet see what i did see what i did there see what i did there yeah that is correct see what i did there that i don't actually remember when that was from to be honest um it was actually my first day on set and it was the first, one of the first scenes that I did. I think it was the first scene I did actually, like ever filming on the next step. And it was a deleted scene because they didn't have enough time to include it in the episode. So it just ended up being put on YouTube and it was one of the fan favorites for my character. So that was cool. They thought it was so good that they had to put it on YouTube, which I was very happy about. Okay. Yeah, thank you for sharing that. So my next line for you is, no, it's not a... No, it's not a... Mm. Only word that's coming to me is joke, but I know that's not it. So I'm trying to think of what it is. Nope. Nope. Ah! I'm gonna pass. Uh, 
Yes, okay. It was date. Oh, shoot. No, it's not a date. Of course. Oh, my God. So, my next line for you is, the only thing that can make this day better is a selfie with... Ditto. That is correct. So, yeah, we already spoke about that storyline. But, yeah, oh, I actually do have a question about this scene. When you did take the selfies with Ditto, did you actually, like, take the photos or was it, like, not real? No, I have them. I actually have them. I think I posted a couple of them, too. Like, a long, long yeah, time ago. They might, they might not be on my page anymore. I might have archived them, but I posted photos of Ditto and I. So, yeah, I actually have photos of there. Selfies with her and everything. That's good. Yeah. Yeah, very good. Thank you. So, you have three more quotes left. Your next line is, I feel like I can take on the... World. World, yep. That is a traditional Henry line. Absolutely, man. That's how I feel all the time. I feel like I could take on the world. <laughs> yeah, that, that line was from the season six off season, the Stacey Carpenter Award. And it was about, I think it was confidence, your like theme. And then when you were explaining your dance, you were saying, we've just qualified for regionals and I can feel like I can take on the world. That is, that is the epitome of confidence, man. I'm just, I'm a very confident guy, majority of the time. Good to hear. So, my next line for you is, she deserves to be here more than anyone. She deserves to be here more than anyone else. Yep, more than anyone else. Yep. I can't remember that storyline. Do you remember that one? What is that from? Do you know what scene? I swear it's something to do... Oh, got it. It's to do with Amy, where her mum pulls her from the studio and you're saying she deserves to be here more than anyone else and that she doesn't, like, deserve to be taken away. Okay, cool. Got it now. <laughs> so, you have one or more line left of this round and your final line is, you can find calmness by accepting your inner... <sighs> I remember this scene and everything, but the last that comes to me... You can find calmness by accepting your inner I wanna say nerves. I'm gonna I'm gonna give it to you. Yeah, I'll give it to you. Nervousness. Yeah, that, that's right, yeah. You can find calmness yeah. by accepting your inner nervousness, yes. Yeah, that was when I think they were at the qualifiers and then you were all sat around and then uh Noah called Phoebe and then she was saying about you have to stay calm and then you were saying about how to be calm and everything. So in this round, you've not done too bad at all. You've got eight out of 10, which is really good for that round. So all together, you've ended up with 10 out of 20, which is half marks, which is still a pass, which is very good. I passed, guys, I passed. I passed, I passed. Okay. Yep, you passed, well done. Yeah, so it wasn't quite enough to beat Liam, but you still got a good score. I passed, that's all that matters to me, I passed. <laughs> That is the end of the second round, and next we'll go into the little Q&A, and it's just five random questions about Henry and yourself. My first question for you is, how did you feel when you booked the role of Henry on the next step? Um, I actually found out on my 16th birthday. It was news that my dad and my agent shared with me, and it was shortly after I got an agent, so I was very excited. I was very happy probably one of the best birthday gifts of my life and I am very grateful very thankful and happy yeah that's a car that's like an amazing gift to get like to find out that on your birthday so my next question for you is what has been your favorite dance to be in on the next step um my favorite dance on next step every time someone asks me this question I like to say famous because it was choreographed by Lamar and Trevor it was very fun. I like the choreography. I like the outfits that we got to wear. To wear, yeah. Um, and if it's not famous, honestly, no, it is famous. Yeah, yeah. yeah. This is a vibe. Yeah. This is a good hey. piece. Yeah, it never gets that old. Was, I'll click on the video every now and then if it shows up on recommended. I'm like, oh yeah, I remember this. Yeah, that was a good dance. I do remember that one. So my next question for you is. Do you have any advice to people who want to get into dancing? I think my biggest piece of advice is don't be afraid to push yourself past your limits. Sometimes people get comfortable, people get stagnant, people get to a point where they plateau because they don't want to push themselves anymore. And even I find myself sometimes getting to that point where I'm like, you know what, I'm good. And that's when, that's when like you just break even but if you go past your limits you just find something else that just 
that just clicks it's a spark i don't know but sometimes you just got to go a little bit past your limits and that's okay because i promise you you're going to thank yourself later for it and it's going to make you better it's going to make you stronger um another piece of advice is that if you fall down nine times you get back up ten so even if you fail if you fail and you fail just if, you, if, if at first you don't succeed try again that's what me and my mom always say yeah thank you for that advice i think a lot of people can relate to that as well and like there's like there's never like a finish limit from where you can go you can always go up you can always keep going you can always keep going yes take breaks yes take time to reflect and look back on everything but um, don't forget that you can. You can You can always push for more. Yeah, I 100% agree. And thank you for sharing that advice and stories. So my next question for you is, do you have any TNS behind the scenes stories or memories you want to share? There was one time, <laughs> there was one time on tour where me and Noah were traveling. And I. it's actually not even that crazy of a story, but... We were going through, I think, customs, and that's when they get to go through your bags and stuff for your carry-on. And I had, like, a lot of hair products with me. And Noah was like, yo, they're going to throw it out. I'm like, no, they're not. They're just going to read it, and it's going to be hair product. They're not going to get mad. And they actually threw it out, and I was very upset in the airport that I almost cried because I need my hair product for when we were in the UK because I couldn't find it. So that was a really sad time because I really needed my hair product. Yeah, thanks for sharing that story. I mean, it's quite sad because they do it to a lot of people in the UK. They like, you get there and then they just like chuck any liquids or any like hair stuff out. But I mean, I wish that you could like get it back eventually because they just put it in the bin. Yeah, so I have one more question for you and it is, what has been the best experience in your dance career so far? Ooh, that's a very good question. Um, Best experience in my dance career so far? Uh, I'm going to say that dancing on a world tour is probably one of the most exhilarating things that anyone can experience. And knowing that, like, every time you go out on that stage, people are going to champion you is one of the best feelings in the world because it makes you want to dance harder for them and they get more excited and then it makes you want to dance even harder and then they get more excited. And it's just kind of like this building up effect that happens for a solid two hours out of the night, every night or every other night. And you're traveling the world, and you get to wake up and do it every day. It's like, it's really fun. It's really enjoyable. So I would have to say being on tour is probably one of the best dance experiences of my life. Yeah. I mean, when I went to the tours, I mean, they were really cool. And like, I, what was it like kind of meeting loads of fans in different places? But that was that fun as well. That's, I think that's one of the best parts because they get excited. And sometimes not every night you're, you, you feel as excited as you did the last night or some nights are magic and some nights aren't just like anything in life and you and the rest of the fans always come backstage or come come after the show and kind of like bombard us and we never get upset about it we never complain we're always so excited to meet you guys because you're so excited to meet us and we have to thank you for where we at our, where we are at in our careers so um yeah, it's it's awesome. I love I love meeting you guys. What makes it even more better is, is when we see you wearing our merch or wearing our faces and, and things like that. That makes us excited. That makes us feel really good because we're like we're setting a good example. We're being good role models and we're having fun while doing it. So, yeah. Yeah, thank you for sharing that. I mean, meeting all of the cast is like so like I can speak for the whole Next Step fandom. It is so exciting to like meet everyone and like to like literally like just being on call with you and like chatting to you now is so exciting like for me. So I'm I'm glad that we got to do this. Thank you. Thank you for asking. me. You're welcome. Thank you so much for watching everyone. Isaiah got 10 out of 20, which is not a bad score. Join me next week to see who else will be taking part in Who Said It. And it's been a real honor filming with Isaiah. Have an amazing day, everyone. Like, comment and subscribe and I'll see you soon. Take care, y'all.